Welcome back to Fox and Robin Recording. I am Justin, and uh, today we're going to talk about some changes. Uh, but first, before we get too far ahead, uh, we want you to like, subscribe, and uh, click the bell, you know, so you get notifications when we launch new videos. Uh, but first, let's talk about this thing behind me. Uh, this is something we've kind of pulled out of the mothballs a little bit. Uh, it was an analog console we had uh, sitting as a spare for our last analog console we had. And uh, it had some issues, channels here and there, um, enough that it was just kind of a pain to use. Uh, but we decided to pull it out, clean it, recap what needed to be recapped, uh, basically put new capacitors in it. Um, for those who don't know, I didn't know what that meant for a long time. Um, I do now though. But anyways, we did channels that needed that, uh, cleaned out all the cobwebs, you know, made sure everything's just nice and tidy and clean inside as well. Outside knobs and stuff were all good and working and all the pots work. Um, didn't have any scratchiness going on. And what scratchiness we did have, we did clean out the best that we possibly could with it was very tedious. <laughs> it was very tedious cleaning out the pots in it. But anyways, uh, that's that's what's new. Um, kind of going back from the digital to more analog side of things. Um, this console does sound great. Um, it's a Tac Scorpion. For those who don't know or can't see the logo of it behind me here, um, it's a Tac Scorpion, which was made by Amic, who had some designs done by Rupert Neat. Um, that's kind of just a short history of all that. I don't know if he designed this one, but I did have one he did design and it was a great board. Um, but yeah, it kind of allows us to have Pro Tools back over here as a uh, tape machine-esque type thing. Or if I just got another engineer in here with me, he, I can run the Pro Tools, he can run the Pro Tools, I can run the console. Um, it is kind of nice to just be able to push up faders, push them all the way up, push them all the way back, kind of, you know, gets that vibe. Anyways, uh, but that's kind of the biggest change we've had. Um, it was quite a beast because the thing weighs a ton. Um, built like a tank. You could, I don't know, you could probably drop it off a building and it would survive. Um, I wouldn't recommend that. But anyways, uh, it's, it's going to be a great console, great desk for our space here. We do have down below me here, off to my left. Um, you might be able to see it. It's kind of hidden in the shadows there. It's the uh, our Fender Fender Deville that's under there, and we'll do a video on it and our pedal chain here, hopefully. And then we've got drums over here. Um, maybe I'll do a B shot of our drum kit over here. But um, we're planning on to do some more records in here with this console and our new setup. Plus, uh, we got rid of the couch in here, so I've got all this room to do stuff. Um, I like have a big console and, and drums in the same room. But uh, so those who have been watching us, we want to say thank you. Um, we also want uh, those who have watched to hit the like button. Keep hitting that like button. Keep supporting our channel. Um, hopefully we can keep this going and, and get some more cool content rolling out. Um, we've got some interns uh, that are interning for us right now um, that are going to help us possibly with some videos. They don't know this yet, but hopefully they see this and figure it out. Um, they're also going to help us with some other stuff around the studio, recording, bringing in their own projects, fun stuff like that. Um, we get interns probably once or twice a year uh, when it's necessary. We don't always need interns. There's COVID kind of kind of screwed that up a little bit. But uh, I kind of feel like I'm rambling here. Uh, we do have a video coming up that we're going to post on what we did to our Telecaster. Um, hopefully that will be a fun video uh, we've got a couple other videos that are coming up that, that we're gonna post about this thing behind me this big console and what it took to clean it um, and to take it apart uh, not fun it was not fun taking it apart uh, but anyways you know thanks for watching uh, watch out for more videos uh, Hopefully my dog doesn't get in any more videos. I've had to redo some videos because he decided to knock cameras and stuff over. Um, but yeah, you know, this is kind of the end of today's update rant. Uh, look out for more videos to come. And uh, we can't wait to show you more and we can't wait to hear from you guys. So don't forget to subscribe, like, hit the bell for more 
uh, content to come. Uh, shoot us a comment if there's anything, or or an email even, if there's uh, anything that you guys want us to do, or you just want to say, hey, you're doing a great job. Uh, any of that. Shoot us an email, send us a like, send us a comment. We will see you next time.